So this is the interesting thing with the, as Laura was saying earlier, the endometriosis and menopause connection is that perimenopause can be very, very challenging with all of that fluctuating estrogen. But the endometriosis can often improve after menopause with the reduction of estrogen. Interestingly, that's the same thing as irritable bowel syndrome. So it's not mm -hmm. the bowel at all, is it? It's not, <laughs> not that uterus at all, is it? And it's because the estrogen drops off. But there is a twofold increase of early menopause in women with endometriosis. Um, but that's not the answer because without the estrogen long term, once the body's actually like body needs estrogen. And so we are, you know, menopause is a life limiting uh, condition. So we need to be able to address that. So this whole putting people into a temporary menopause or just saying it'll get better and oh great, well well done. You went through an early menopause. Yeah, that's that's not the answer. That's not the answer. Mm. And then what happens if though that woman does actually need HRT because she's in a life affected space, then what what happens with the endo? Mm, and again estrogen is not the enemy here like no. you said the body we women we need estrogen so reducing our estrogen or taking it away totally is just going to cause more other issues in the body mm -hmm. we need to be looking at the inflammation yeah particularly in menopause so if you are working with menopausal clients then this working with the balance of estrogen and progesterone and inflammation looking at the three together is so so important yeah 